Brooks on the state team here. She's trying to drive home the first runs of the game, and she makes contact with this one. This is going to be flying out into center. Caught by Hopkins. She's going to relay this in, but not in time. A runner will score off the tag, and just like that, the Stars have struck first. It's 1-0. The Hood family uh, travel together. Um, their mum, Tanya, is the under-17 coach. George is in the under-17 and under-19. Squares up to bunt, but that's going to be an easy play. And Bell White, who's just so solid behind the plate, just has to stand up and catch that. That's an easy scoop for the first out there. Monica Perry, the probably the star in the competition. She's faced all these batters before. They've all faced each other, but a bit of a different collection of talent here, as this is a swing and the miss on the outside, and we might see a few of those today. Monica Perry gets Meade swinging, and we're down to two outs. I have a feeling that later on down the track it could be a Chelsea Cohen versus Belinda White showdown, maybe in a grand final or a preliminary final. Uh, this could be that matchup as she swings at this one. I guess she doesn't look too happy with it. It's right back to Hopkins out front, and she makes the catch, and she gets a good throw in there as Maddie Scott grabs this one. She almost applied the tag. They're going to be happy getting Bell out like that. As we're watching Maddie Cameron take a big swing at that, another Sturt representative in the Stars. And Cameron slashes this one out towards the outfield. Hopkins is going to go and chase this one back, but it's going to rattle against the wall. This is going to score a run, and she's going to try to push this in for a triple. A big hit from Maddie Cameron scores the first run of the ball game. It's 1-0 for the Stars. Cameron smashing that one opposite field. Easily going to score the runner from second. Chelsea Robinson crossing the plate. Maddie Cameron is a champion herself. She won a bronze medal at a Junior World Championships just a couple of years ago. Now this will be an interesting battle here. Chelsea Cohen stepping up to the plate here. And she swings at the first pitch here, and she won't be happy with that. That's a throw home, and Bell gets down and tags her out. That's going to be the second out. It'll be a fielder's choice as she'll, Cohen will step on first. She won't be too happy with that, though, because it sort of went backwards. They allowed an out, and they put a runner back on first. So where you got Chelsea Cohen on the mound here, and you got local Jasmine Liu. Swipes at this one, and this is just going to drop in through the infield. That's going to score a run. It would start it at third. It's 2 nothing, just like that. You got a runner on third. How's that for situational hitting? Just make contact, get a base hit, and you're going to have no problem at all. Here's the pitch again, trying to get her swinging again, and she hits this one well. This is going deep to left field. This should be playable, and this is just over an outstretched arm there of Tonkin. That's going to score a run as Lambert steps in with a triple to score the third run of the ball game. We are talking that that might, might be what it took, and Lambert delivers with a big one right there. A yeah, tremendous shot. She took an inside pitch, and she ripped it to the left side. You can see on the replay right here. Hit that well and there was no doubt about it. She just put her head down and started running and in between first and second, a bit of a stumble, but she slides in there just in time. Perry, who just shows no emotion out there on the mound right now. She's a machine dealing these in and here's another pitch again. And she chops at this one. It's gonna be a throwback to first and Bell White, or throwback to the plate rather, and Bell White an easy tag out. So Maddie Scott's gonna go to first. But again, for the second time this game, as you can see her reach at the low one there and a quick play from short back to home. She played in the United States in a world lead up to the World Championship. And a fantastic diving catch there behind home plate by Hood. Look at her dive down there as it was just bunted, not the way she wanted. Take a look at the replay here. Sort of comes off the end of the bat there and Hood just times and makes a grab there like Superman reaching out to get the first out here, but the runner has moved to second. Trying to drive home another run. They did it with two outs last inning in a clutch bit of hitting and Maslin swings at this one, but she doesn't get it the way she wants it. Going back to left field and a nice little catch. Back tracking there was Tonkin. 3-0 ball game, and this gets high inside and diving quickly away from that was Kaisler. It's just going to go down as a ball, and she sort of has a chuckle at that one. You can see everybody Hood having a chuckle as well, too. Look at this. Uh, we've got a new catcher as well. That's Faith Picard. Uh, I think what's funny about this is that all three of them, that's Courtney, <laughs> Faith, and Lana, all play for West Torrens, so a bit of friendly rivalry there. And a good hit. This going to left field again, and this is going to bounce all the way to the wall. This should score a run. Kaisler is going to try to stretch this to three, and she's going to hold up at second. But that does score the run. So a double to start the inning scores the run, and it's a 4 nothing ball game. You see Maddie Cameron just hold up a little bit just to make sure it wasn't caught. Then she could take off for home to score the run. And she swings at the first pitch, and this is line right over the third. A fantastic catch, a heads-up play. So 
Nucky last one pitch in there. She hit it hard. It was just in the wrong spot. Terrific piece of the ball from uh, Kelsey Nucky. Expect something to happen here. Jordan Lambert up to bat. The two speedsters of the team for the Stars. And Lambert, who had a triple already, she's going to split the outfielders, and this is going to roll the line. Lambert pushing for three. Jordan Lambert is going to step in again with another triple. That's Steph Collett smashing the ball out to left field, scoring Lambert and keeping the roll going for the Stars. Behind the plate, so that Bell White behind the plate and the combination is a throw over to third and this gets away. This might be the first run of the ball game right here. It's a throw over to third and she's gonna step, on, step home right here and look at that. How about this? It's a 7-1 ball game. All-Stars couldn't get, couldn't get on the board quicker than that, could you? All-Stars really wanted that one. The old fake bunt still third. Steph Collett, the change for the Stars at shortstop as well. And Jamie Mead able to score quite easily. Uh, under 17s and under 19s and a couple of years now in the Stars. And Nucky hits this well right over to third again. And this one is going to bonk into foul territory. Nucky stretching it into a double at second. And Kelsey Nucky steps in with a leadoff hit. She gets to second. Belinda White scores. It's 8-1. And don't call her lucky. It's just Kelsey Nucky. It's an 8-1 ball game. It looks like that one just come off the fielder's glove, maybe. Sliding into second safely. Uh, they're all dealing, uh, as well as Chelsea Cohen, around the 100-kilometer-an-hour mark. Uh, very impressive for a 16-year-old. Uh, and a good piece of hitting right there is Kaisler. Drifts this into right field. She just sort of got down and powered that into right. And now they. But uh, Sturt feature heavily. Seacombe, West Torrens. And this is hit hard. This is going out to right field. And this is going to drop and roll out there. It scores one run. She's going to step in for a double. And she's turning it into a triple. But there's a runner on third. She's going to double back to second. Now Maslin caught in a rundown. She's going to get turned back, throw over to third. And she's gone down. She had talking had stepped off the bag trying to go home. It was a heads up play actually there by the All-Stars. Advancing Jordan Lambert over to third and bringing up the biggest name in the game in South Australia at the moment. Oh, diving in head first. Obviously a squeeze play, suicide squeeze. Yeah, that would have been, and that was almost a perfect bunt laid down there too, is that little awkward distance between home and first. It just sort of trickled foul it looked as well too, so. Run it on first and third for the Stars, and we're back to Kelsey Nucky. Nucky one for two on the day, and she tries to bunt this on the strike, and Jordan Lambert dips under there, and she's safe. And now we got a runner caught in a rundown. Bell White gunned down, but Jordan Lambert, it looks like, has scored on a nice heads-up play right there. Look at this dive from Jordan coming in here. Well, we had another, oh. another squeeze play opportunity. Uh, the aggressive base running continues for the Stars. Bell trying to take two bases on that one. And uh, Jordan Lambert managed to get under the tag, so finish it out here for the Stars. And it's a first pitch bunt right to Peterson, throw over to first, and an easy, oh, she's safe. Look at that hustle, I thought she was out, and all smiles there from Picard as she hustled that one out. A little behind on the throw there, and we've got a runner on first and a runner on second, and a chance to threaten here for the All-Stars. Look great, at this. Great speed and a, a great call as well. Uh, by the umpire Russack there at first base. Been around about the third and fourth place the last couple of this years. chopped up into the outfield. She's going to have to run for this one. This drops in center field. This is for sure going to score one, probably going to score two. She, Meade's going to step in with a double, and she scores two runs. She moves in for a triple, it looks like. It's a double. Sorry, it's a double. And it just scores a runner to third and scores a runner home, but it is a run. So a good job generating some offense there and keeps the runners in scoring position. Got to be happy with that. Playing for Port Adelaide this season and uh, and also uh, plays for Great Britain. And this just gets out in the outfield and extends the game even further. Another run. A great piece of hitting right there. A couple good job uh, good job fouling a couple away. She took a ball that ended up scoring a run and now she scores a run of her own and she's got to be stoked with that. Yeah, I think that's a bit of the culture that's going around South Australia at the moment. Ground ball to shortstop. Chelsea Robinson makes a backhand play. She's beaten that one out. A fantastic throw from Chelsea Robinson too, but again, look at this resiliency here. Head down, powerful run through the bag here, and Tonkin gets on, so... 2015, and uh, 
And geez, they've got a good chance this year as well. And this is looped in a diving attempt right there, and it's going to get a runner across again to third. And this might load them up right here. That's what I love about the South Australian players. Sorry, a run did score on that, so runners on the corners, but another nice effort there, and again. You watch Steph Collett here. She'll make herself horizontal, trying to make the diving play. I'm where these girls will make SA proud in their competition as this goes outside again too. Yeah, very special thanks to uh, Baseball SA and the Adelaide Bite. The Stars have got a fundraiser at their next home series, which is coming up uh, this weekend. Yeah, so very exciting times too, as baseball and softball sharing a ground here. We're here at West Beach on a beautiful day, and this is hit high in the air. Could be playable. It's back, caught in right, and throw in to play there. And that is the ball game. So the Stars win 13-6. to